Hi, it's KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and I'm with Lauren Tucci from Gilded Pear Gallery. Uh, a special extra treat if you're watching the video today that we'll explain in just a minute. But first off, welcome, Lauren. Nice to see you. Hi, Dennis. So you have uh, two exhibits beginning. Is this a first? This is a first. Um, so the building that the gallery is in recently acquired some space on the second floor. And so we are hosting a concurrent event to our uh, otherwise main exhibition on the first floor. And so it's a good way to announce the space. Okay, so when you said when you said second floor, I just thought it was kind of that loge up the steps, but it's uh, you know that that has always been, I guess, kind of a workspace or something. But this is actually the full second floor of the building. Almost, it's about half. So um, there will be a petite, you know, a showing space upstairs. So it'll it'll be smaller than our main floor, um, but uh, is very presentable and fresh. Well, let's start there since we've been talking about the the second floor. This is a jewelry exhibition. As I said at the top, if you're watching the video, extra treat because Lauren is wearing some of the items from the jewelry exhibition. Yes. And so going back just a little bit, we're hosting this exhibition, um, which is a really great opportunity for the gallery. Munich Jewelry Week is a very prominent uh, jewelry exhibition throughout the world. And because of COVID, um, we have the unique opportunity to host this exhibition for these two artists who would otherwise be going to Germany and showing them themselves. And having a, a virtual gathering to celebrate with folks around the world. And so this is a really, unique experience uh, for anybody who's in the Midwest um, and they'll get to have eyes on otherwise an international show. So it's kind of a mini Munich jewelry show right here. Absolutely. Yeah. So a little bit of Europe brought to you here in Iowa. Tell me about the artists. Uh, Jillian and Satomi are the two featured artists, Jillian Moore and Satomi Kawai based out of Iowa City. Um, and they both are very uh, well-known uh, jewelers in their own rights and artists as well. Uh, some do sculptures and, and two-dimensional two work, but um, based here in Iowa. And they both have a unique style to the way that they um, make jewelry. Uh, one, if you're watching the video, um, one style is bright colors, very vibrant, glossy forms, uh, organic forms. And then the other style of Satomi's, which is a little bit more um, refined uh, shapes and uh, minimal color. And they, but they both take um, inspirations from biology and the natural world. And so they're, they're using the same inspirations, but in completely uh, different ways. And they're really fun to see together. The exhibit has a title that is kind of a mouthful, Polyphonous 2021, Mimetic Lives 2. Sounds like a Netflix cult documentary. <laughs> yes, it is um, a mouthful of a title, but Polyphonous is the group that we're working with from Europe, and they started the group. Um, and so that's the header of the title um, for their 2021 showing. And so we're very lucky to work with them. And there's more information on our website about how Polyphonous got started and um, more information on them instead of me trying to rattle that off to you here. But uh, Mimetic Lives is um, the show between Jillian and Satomi. They had shown previously uh, at the University of Iowa when uh, they both graduated their graduate degrees um, called Mimet uh, Mimesis of Light. And so this is, a, a, you know, reunion uh, show for them. Uh, and they're, they're also celebrating 15 years of showing together. The uh, other exhibit, the main exhibit is uh, one featuring an artist. And again, advantage to those watching the video, because I recognize a Royer behind you, even as we speak, uh, one of Eastern Iowa's best known artists, Ann Royer. Yes, absolutely. And this is a real treat as well, um, because she's celebrating 10 years with us here at the gallery. 
Um, in this particular show, I got to have the pleasure of curating um, based off of a group that's inspiration of an of an inspiration that I've seen before in her work. And so this is Rhythm and Bloom. And a lot of these works are kind of referencing musicality and spring growth. Looking at the piece behind you, and of course, you've all you always have a kind of an Anne Royer area all the time in the galleries. You said she's been with you from the very beginning, all 10 years at Gilded Pear. But it is not all of her work is as colorful as what I'm seeing here. So I'm guessing that that's where the, the, the spring colors comes in. Yep, and then some forms that are inspirational, they kind of look like blooms and flowering. Um, and so uh, it's a very wonderful show of inspiration and hopefully maybe, um, I don't know, some springtime happiness. And new pieces beyond those that are just normally, you know, a part of what you might see from from her area of the, uh, of the gallery. Correct, um, a large amount of them are from 2020 and 2021. Um, and some of, some of them are from her archives that I found um, to connect into her new work, um, but mar most of them are new. What opening events do you have scheduled for these exhibits? Uh, these events will also be virtual, like, like normal, um, but to kick off uh, Anne Royer's uh, exhibition, we're gonna host a Facebook walkthrough live that we normally do to introduce the show, and that's on March 5th starting at 5.30 on our Facebook page. And then um, to kick off the show upstairs, we're going to have an Instagram live. Um, most of the collectors that you're gonna see for jewelry are on Instagram now. And so Instagram is gonna be the um, platform for that show at 5.30 to kick off Munich Jewelry Week, which starts on March 8th. And so March 8th is um, when we'll have that live event. And then March 12th will be the virtual celebration uh, across the globe um, for the upstairs exhibition. And we have a link in our, uh, on our website for that. And that's gonna be a Zoom, um, you know, back and forth. You can ask the artist questions. They'll be, ho they'll be um, coming in from their studios um, and I'll be here showing the work uh, in space. So obviously it's always fun to be in the gallery and walk through and see everything at the receptions and, you know, have a minute or two to chat with the artists. But my experience has been that when you do the virtual uh, tours and walkthroughs with the artists right there, sometimes you get almost more of a personal experience with them than you do talking it over wine and cheese. Yeah, and that's actually kind of the great part about all of these virtual events is that it almost becomes a little bit more one on one. Usually we have um, when we have a reception filled with people, it's kind of hard to get the artist's attention, try to get into a conversation. Um, and then this way, it's actually more of a, a, a informal, formal roundtable. You can ask questions and everybody gets their answers usually on um, on the spot. And uh, it's just a great way to connect, even if you can't be here. Um, but you can be here too. <laughs> That's right, because you have uh, social distance protocols in place. You can make an appointment. You can you can see everything in person, and also see and meet the artists online as well. Correct. Yeah, and I highly encourage seeing the work in person, even if you want to join us for the virtual event too, um, because the jewelry will not be. Uh, just as good online, and, and neither will Ann Royer's works um, be as perfect as they should be uh, in person, so. It's Rhythm and Bloom with Ann Royer and uh, Polyphonist 2021, Mimetic Lives 2. I got through it without stumbling. Both opening the uh, 5th of March uh, with, as Lauren said, uh, different exhibits beginning uh, around the 5th of March and then continuing over the next several days. And of course, an opportunity to come and uh, check out the exhibits all the way along. If people want more information, they can, of course, visit your website, Lauren, which is? GildedPearGallery.com. Lauren Tucci from Gilded Pear Gallery. Lauren, thanks for joining me. Thanks, Dennis. You can hear the Culture Crawl live on the radio most Thursdays and Fridays at 1020 or download the podcast, watch or listen on your own schedule at kcck.org slash culture or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Dennis Green, and I'll talk to you later.